The milk bottle over here. Probably on no day. Just a little quick video of the, how the puppies are doing. They're not open their eyes yet. They won't be two weeks until Friday. But look at them go. <laughs> they can smell their mommy who's just looking in here at them. They can smell their mommy, so that's why they're going crazy. They're all strange how they'll smell her, and then all of a sudden they'll be up and about. Look at these cute little baby. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, your kids noisy, aren't they, Bind? Yes, they are. You're a good girl. So this is a bit of puppy cum for today. Look, they don't, when they fall over, they just roll because they're so chubby. Little chubbers, gorgeous. Good day and welcome. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another acrylic pour. Um, today I am doing a test again with my Montmartre Studio Acrylics and this time I am going to add, which I will show you in a minute, uh, the Montmartre pouring medium to my um, Montmartre Acrylic Signature Paint and I am going to do the test today on um, whether the okay I'm just showing you now that, that the yeah I'm using the Montmartre pouring medium instead of my normal glue and water mix because I'm doing this test to use the Montmartre pouring medium and I'm going to add some of the boom booster to this acrylic paint because I've had such good results with the boom gel paints and the boom booster that I wanted to try in ordinary paint. So I'm just showing you consistency here because I had a hard job getting the right consistency with the pouring medium because I'm so used to using my homemade pouring medium of the uh, create a little clear craft glue and water. I'm going to add, I do add three drops of this Boom Booster to each of those cups of paint that you see there. So I've got all those delicious colours made up with the Montmartre pouring medium and then I added three drops of that Boom Booster. So the experiment was to see what kind of cells and results I get from these products. So there you go. So I'm doing a smaller canvas on this one as my tester for the, the next one that'll be the bigger one, bigger canvas. So, so here we go. Just pouring the um, Brilliant White over this uh, little canvas. Get your gloves on, Jilly. Yes, I'm doing a voiceover because again, I went to edit this video and found I'd got absolutely no sound on it whatsoever. So it's a good job that I've taught myself how to do a voiceover, otherwise it would have to be an abandoned video and this one is so worthwhile. So I'm glad that um, I can do this. But my hubby, God rest his cotton socks, has been out this morning and got me a little um, new microphone. I was going to go and do it myself, but had a few other things to do and he kindly went out and bought me this new microphone so I will be trying that soon, soon, soon. So I'm just, that was my, the first one was my Berry Delicious that I make up myself out of the, oh it can be crimson or the very deep red and then add a blob of phthalo blue and a blob of black if you want it to go a real deep cherry. I've now added orange and the bright yellow and turquoise. So they're just gorgeous colours. And this is the pink, just plain old pinkity pink. That one's carmine, they're all colours of Montmartre. 
And this one is the acrylic, um, oh, the metallic silver. So I do always make that one up a little bit thicker metallics because otherwise they just seem to um, disappear in everything. And that's a navy that I've put on top there. And remembering that this has got that three drops of that little boom booster to see what kind of cells I can get in, in just ordinary acrylics. So I'm going to do my flip and lip. There you go, little boom booster. I will try to get a link for this because I know that there is um, distributors in the United States, Canada and the EU um, with the those products, all the products I use. So you can get them worldwide. I will, yep. Yeah try and find links to those but if you're in australia of course look uh, in the description below you will find uh capriol shabby chic and you can get absolutely everything i use they have there all the different brands paints products so you will find them at capriol shabby chic So just evenly placing that white on my little, my little canvas and spreading it out with my little thingamajig. What's it? Can you see those dogs were having a good old time around me? Probably good that the voice didn't work because they were going around and round in circles, all chasing each other around. Thought it was great. So I had my son's little dog, Lola, who's the Havanese, and I have, of course, my gorgeous Bindi, who'd come out and having a run round with Benson and Lola. So let the magic begin. Come on, jelly flippy doodle. There you go. Oh, those colours were so yummy. I actually really like those. I really will do a bigger one. That showed some really cool results in the actual cup. But looking at it now, you can't see much into my cup, can you? Not wanting to waste one drop of paint. There's Jilly rolling it around. Okie dokie, giving it a, just very nice and gently, giving it a tilt around the canvas to sort of keeping an eye on it to see what you want to run off where the areas that you might not want to run off because you like them so much it, there this was interesting actually because it just completely felt different altogether the weight of the canvas the texture of felt completely different than when i do my homemade pouring medium so it was really like starting from scratch when you're using completely different products to what you're normally used to using because you get in a kind of habit, well I did, of making my own pouring mediums and paint ratios and different um, silicone because obviously the Boom Booster would be silicone based but it kind of appeared to have something a little bit different than even my Helmar, which I highly recommend, my Helmar silicone, which I normally use. I didn't use my, um, my heat wand. Now, you can find these heat ones at uh, Capriol Shabby Chic, the link below. Or if you're in the US or anywhere else in the world, try Amazon. Probably pop in embossing, embossing gun or heat wand think they use them for card making normally but, but uh, look at I was so excited here I probably did shriek the tiny little champagne cells that were popping up they were absolutely glorious to watch and I was shrieking again going you know all my oohs and ahs that those that actually watch me know that I when I get excited about things I'm a crazy lady I get so excited. <laughs> Even at my age, things thrill me. Surely do. Here you go. I'm getting my little doodle stick, or as Kathleen Osmore would call, noodling. In Australia, we call it doodling. So um, 
I'm sort of just running some of the colours through the rest of the like the negative space in the white. See what I can get. But it's fun and it's nice. I like it. I just really love this one. It was so I don't know for some other reason that um little paint in there created something I don't know deep feeling to me. What on earth is wrong with me? Oh, I don't know what it was, but I just love that little one. It was, yeah, I don't know if I've got somebody up there. Please explain why am I feeling this way about this crazy little painting. Yes, acrylic pouring medium from Montmartre. So can get them, it's everywhere, but it created a completely different look to my normal work. Just the cell formation and everything probably so much more structured tiny little champagne cells just beautiful but you will see the dried version and um, in photographs at the end of this video so please wait to have a little squizzy please let me know what you think and if you haven't subscribed please do so I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you that do <gasps> Can you see? Oh, you can't see them. But when you see the end photos, you will see the little cells. So I have just gone out and bought myself a new iPhone 11 Pro Max that's got this U-Beaut camera on it. So we will see if filming with this camera, maybe my videos won't be going up with this particular camera till next week or 10 days time, maybe, I'm not sure. But you will see if there's any difference, if it actually picks up more detail in my um, videoing. I'm hoping so, because, you know, I'm just not very technologically um, knowledgeable. I'm just, just trying to muddle my way through doing the best for myself. And you guys, of course, will have a better experience when you're watching my videos, so... Hope you liked the uh, puppy cam. A few more photos coming up of my puppers, puppies. Um, almost, well, they will be two weeks old uh, Friday. You will probably be seeing this video after Friday, I would imagine. So there we go. There's my babies. Oh, they're so delightful. Just a full box of chocolates. Okay, guys, uh, the dried paintings coming up can you see those little tiny champagne cells colors popping through it was and is quite delightful it stayed exactly like that with those very structured little cells it's gorgeous so thanks for joining me continue watching the little picture show and i will be um back soon in fact i'll be back tomorrow okay bye for now